Bar. Hmm. Oh, there's another. What's this? Just in time for the combat demonstration. What is he one doing? He's not even shooting.
Oh, you might get hit. Oh, we oh. fine. <laughs> You could probably outmaneuver that one in a larger area. Uh, not here. The one with the jump jet most likely can do it way better as well. Especially yeah. the heavier variants that we're starting to uh, produce internally. Like the, the fucking Hellfire or whatever the hell I called it last. But... That thing took yeah, fucking it's kind of like sad nothing. How bad this thing is versus the light one. Keep in mind, we're up, we're down to uh, around two percent chassis strength. Hmm. You all, you are only a single. You are only like two shots away from destroying this thing. Alright, well, I'll, um, see if we can get any engineers or anything on, um, increasing overall strength. Sure. Yeah. So, A1. Hmm. Your, the bosses came back with some blueprint. It will add a citadel-like structure over here, so you can engage against probably disposable units like the battle droids we've salvaged. Hmm. Interesting. What do you think? I I think it's pretty good. I feel like that's a good arrangement. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure um, about these mechs though. We do have one last mech we can test, two actually. Mm-hmm, and that is... The stolen designs we have. Mm. Like the, uh, the trebuchet from... Oh, those stolen designs. Yes. I remember we had an old, old, old imperial design that we once took. I am not willing, as a organic or human, to, uh, man those things. If you want to test those, you're gonna need to get a droid companion. As those things could kill me. If those things fall. Yeah. Dex, can I ask a question? Yeah. What's going on exactly? What's the plan for the new operation? I hear we're doing something. So the new operation after this one? Yes. Isolated from the galaxy except for this little point. So, we'll have a true ace in the hole. We'll have a four warning system that's better than the one on Boreas? Well, no, I'm not, not, not talking about that. I'm talking about having a planet that's completely isolated from the rest of the galaxy. It would be the most secure station we'd have in the whole military. True. Uh, what's the plan on that, Dex? Are, is the Vanguard going? Oh yeah, definitely. Or is, like, only the higher-ups going? I believe we're definitely gonna need some troops in it, because... From what I've heard, it's gonna be defended by an army. What's that noise? I heard a static noise come off that thing. Heard that before. So A1, not good, you think? Those those things are good for uh, against infantry. That's the one thing they're great against. 
They're not meant to fight other mechs, they're meant to fight lower class people. I personally very much dislike it in every sense of the way. The design sucks, the it looks like I shit. Had. Well, I'm pretty sure they're meant to be riot control uh, mechs. That would make sense. But then why would they be equipped with the jump pack? I don't fucking know. Get over the, the crowd. The one without a cage. The one without Crush the crowd, of course. The yeah. I guess. Use the your jump kits to light the crowd on fire. Seems highly useful for a riot. Yeah. Vehicular machine guns are also not very good for riot control, considering all you'll do is completely shred the people you're trying to arrest. If you have, you know, rubber bullets, you'll be fine. Hey, what? But on a gun Those that did big, not have rubber, rubber bullets. On a gun that rubber big, bullets rubber will bullets will still kill anything. I think personally, they are meant to be vehicles that either are for riot control or are for guarding duties. They're not tall enough that you can sabotage them by blowing up their legs, which is a vulnerability of all of our mechs. You need some sort of thermite or something, and it can melt through our, our legs. Hmm. That's the only worry, but I mean, we can just set up a motion sensor or a proximity sensor yeah. around it, and it will solve all your problems as you'll be able to just readjust. Unless someone somehow make, managed to make a thermite launcher, which they don't exist, luckily. Uh, what's the plan, by the way? Are we making um, pilot suits? For these? I mean, we could. I mean, talks were behind the scenes that we're going to use the Vanguard pilot as a standard issue uh, mech pilot outfit that we sell. Since that is a, a flight suit with survivability, but it does not have the Vanguard armor tier we have. Hmm. Yeah, it might work. When I was thinking. I was just given a set of gunner armor for this test. I'm not entirely sure why. Works, it works. I suppose, I mean, issues. Plus, we definitely got a surplus of Imperial equipment here. Yeah, I, I grabbed it from the army. Go, go grab it, a gunner suit. I do think we need to get broader in ideas. I mean, these mechs are good, but they're all, they all feel the same. You know Not what I mean? True. It's like most yeah, of them I guess. would fulfill pretty much the same role. You get something that maybe would fill something different. What's the opinion? Are we going to be making um, more lighter mechs or go for the heavier types? Heavier, of course. I well, feel like right. lighter could be useful as well. Perhaps you could try yeah, and do a mix of both. Light mechs, that's the thing. Yeah, we have probably the we have the lightest mech you can make. Oh, I have one thing left to show you. A one, um, something that was brought up from a old blueprint of someone else's armor we found. There on the ground. What the fuck Why is, is that? Those ships over there. What? Out of character. The server lags when I spawn it. Hmm. It's like it's hitting those ships. What the fuck is that? Combat arm. Something like a Mandalorian or something made. Yeah, I think Kavlock had one of these. Correct. That's where we got it from. He hasn't been seen for a while, so we... Vanguard Tex imitated his armor set. I think he's dealing with set. personal business or something. Yeah. That set is really phenomenal. It can rival heavier mechs. 
Uh, we are likely never to employ these in the field as the risk of them going into enemy hands is so huge, it's not worth the risk. You know what I mean? Perhaps you could find a way to self-destruct them. On or loss of pilot, if, like... if a certain way, if they are not exited properly. Why don't we use this on shipboarding exit. operations? True! Good. Because then the only way they can steal is it is if they hyperspace out, but half the time when you're boarding a ship, you make sure to dis either destroy or disable their reactor and hyperdrive. Plus, these work. things are pretty, like, they're pretty small comparatively to, like, other battle suits. This thing is only about, what, one and a half times the, the size of Hawk? It's probably around the same size as his, uh, what, your Magna Guard? So it, they yeah, should be able to be able taller. To... taller? They should yeah, be Yeah, it's about one and a half people places. tall. Like, look. Yeah. I can easily start uh, walking through the base with this thing. The only thing I, that's an issue with that armor is one, it relies on a life support system. If the life support system is dead, uh, you die. Simple as that. Because it has. Perhaps find it, a way it, to it, have the, make the helmet removable. That would defeat the purpose. The suit's supposed to be perfectly sealed and completely, completely protected against anything. If you have even the smallest little crack or seal, that suit's meant for harsh environment training as well, meaning we can bring it to radioactive, we can take the magma worlds, it can be brought anywhere. Use droids if necessary. We'll try like what to I'm employ doing them. With, uh... It All is right. meant for human bodies, though. That's the only thing. Hmm. You need to be a commando droid to even fit in that. You also Plus have to be a certain point, weight class and height. You would defeat the purpose, because at that point, why not just make a heavy droid instead of a mech? Because, more fun. Also, you can use multi purpose. Use droids if absolutely necessary, but then use humans if possible. Oh. Right, That's a pretty good gate, too. The power right. supply in the thing is pretty bad. The only problem is probably going to be storing. Because it doesn't seem to enjoy um, standing up, so we'd have to either no. store it like this or. Put it on like hangers, yeah, you, yeah, but then that would require extra space. It's too top heavy to stand up straight by itself. And that's because of its weapon. Yeah. When it's active, it has a gyro in it that powers on, but when it's not active, it's too heavy to hold up. The only thing I'll say, that thing is running on a harsh power supply, as we have nothing small enough in the galaxy to be able to power something like that efficiently. Yeah. I don't think this suit will ever be finished. Just for the sole reason that I don't think we'll ever be able to accommodate its power. The only thing it uses power is its jump jets and its laser cannon. The other stuff is pneumatic. Hmm. Well, we have seen mech suits before. We can maybe look into how they were worked and uh, see if we can incorporate some principles of their design into this. Well, we had Kel's armor, but Kel's armor was entirely pneumatic. With, uh, using high-powered pneumatics to increase his strength. Uh, we've never seen something as similar as this. Well, I have. But getting a copy of it would be very difficult. Wait, I remember and an illegal. old, uh... I remember an old thing that you encountered in the Viden region. I was reading up on it. You ran against these, uh, big bipedal things that had these ultra-powerful cannons. Oh, those things! It's been ages since I've seen those mech suits. 
Well, yeah, he has to download the content pack. But, uh, yeah, we could possibly look for those. However, who made them? And where are they? We ha They haven't been spotted in, you know, I don't know, literally a decade now? Well, yeah. Probably Dark Star. let's be real here. The nameless mercs, as they were called at the time, had also mech suits like that, but they were completely robotic. So, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think those mech suits we encountered the first time around, I think those belong to a completely different entity. They could have just been some band of pirates or something like that. All right, I'm gonna go um go work on engineering. Cool. All right. See you all later. See ya. I will say, A1, you definitely need to make me stronger. This thing is horrible. Yeah, yeah, I I'm working on it. Hopefully, you can always use a more dense alloy if you're willing to take a bit of extra tonnage. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm done with that. The hell is that? Oh, that's boss's ship. Also, what? Is it just me, or is that? Is that? Uh, uh lat like on its ass. Can I go the fix fuck? that? Yeah, go go ahead. Uh. <laughs> the hell. Yeah, I have no idea what happened there. Someone had a bad parking job and landed that thing on top of another ship and didn't tell anyone. I could have sworn it was on. It was landed right like 20 minutes ago. Well, someone uh, moved it! <laughs> they must have done it during mech testing. <laughs> I'll explain why you didn't hear it. Come on, you just. We're gonna be taking that thing in a bit. Come on! <laughs> okay, you don't need to tell him anything he's done. Yeah, whatever. Has anyone- okay, so, question. Where the fuck did you go last time? I- I lost track of you. You appeared. Oh. Uh, I went off to explore the base. In the surrounding area. Right. Well, did anyone tell you what happened? I mean, yeah. did anyone tell you the battle plan or the plan that we have in place for tomorrow? I assume we're heading I... to the place I think we're heading. Soon. But, uh, we have set up false data logs to say that the space was abandoned around four months ago. Right around the last time they did an inspection. Nice. We've forged it so to make it seem like the entire base decided to defect. <laughs> and the the Imperials don't care about this place, as it's in the middle of the corner of the galaxy, next to a planet they no longer care about because they yeah. don't give a shit about what the Kaminoans do after they basically fuck them over. So we're good. Yep. Nice. But, um, Dax has the pilot come to. I haven't... 
Yeah, I haven't heard anything about that one quite yet. Pilot or what? If you don't know. TIE Interceptor. Oh. Uniquely marked. Had uh, red markings on the tip. Oh. And on the back way. Looked to be an elite. Interesting enough, this tie appeared to have a unique hyperspace ring. Interesting. One, I I know, a tie with a hyperspace ring. I I would never hear about that. Yeah. So that was the one ship we picked up on the stress signal. Yeah. I don't know what kind of special agent bullshitter he was on, but we got him. He crash landed at base, was able to power back on a ship and flew. Came back for another strike, fucked over Hawk, and then crashed again. I'm pretty sure you were here when this all happened, other than, like, him landing. My vote is we kill him, don't even let him talk. He could be having a tap on him, he could be well, having a private for. transmitter. Sure, I'm down. I don't really give let's shit. Let's do a full cavity search. By the way, Oom7 has fully decided to join our side. Cool. Alright. He said that there is no reason and no well, no logical reason to follow his old program if every single time the CIS keeps trying to reform, it fails miserably. Yep. There's nothing to keep that movement going anymore, except some outdated programming. If anything, any Separatists left have joined the Rebellion. They already did. These people didn't want to support the Rebellion because they don't want a Republic. I thought they would've, because the uh, Republic became the Empire and they want that gone. What? Well, no, that would just reset the power balance of everything, leading to another war. Why? Why would they want that? They could always uh, battle droids. War is all they give know. conditions to joining the rebellion, saying that, like, to make a better republic or something. That's what the the alliance already says. You're gonna, oh, we're gonna make a republic with all the corruption. No, they will. Trust me, they will. They will fail. Even if they win, the uh, whatever the fuck they're gonna call themselves, they're just gonna collapse, fail. And laughably fit. Die. Well, that's pretty much the problem with centralized governments. Pretty much all of them have their own faults in their own way. As long as there's a uh, greedy rich people out there, they're always gonna try to get into power for their own benefit. Yeah. Honestly, every I will say is one. Um, the CAS Remnant chose not to join the Alliance due to them not wanting to have a new new Republic with a new government who are primarily rich people and um, Even though alien species that fought the Separatists like the Mon Calamari. Even though most of the CIS were rich people. True. They were rich people. But they were never allowed power. These are rich people that are respected. They were aliens. They were never really respected. Um Seven said that his um, benefactor decided to basically, after the failure on Boreas, decided to just kill himself, saying he oh, doesn't really have a it. leader anymore. Right. So they did have an organic oh, what are you, or something. What are you sad that you didn't get to kill him, anyone? No, I'm sad that I didn't get to steal his money. If he was a benefactor of a droid, he'd probably get some dough, you know? He was we a could moon use with that. a multi-billion of dollars. I could use that. He was a banking clan member, apparently. Exactly! Oh. We could have used it, but now he's dead. Oh well. Just find his heir and kill them. True. <laughs> or, even better, blackmail them. Yeah, blackmail the threatened to expose that they <laughs> led a droid army. 
Well, they're fucking dead. Well, we'd have oh, to, kid. like, blackmail his kid into... Well, well yeah, yeah, the but kid! Like... But that's the thing! Who cares? Like, the, if the kid's found out to be a son or a daughter of, um, a galactic rebellion leader, they're gonna get killed! Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Just threaten to expose them in exchange for money. That or they'll just take away all their money. Yeah, but anyone was saying we can go there, tell them we know, and then they have to give us money for us to keep quiet. Oh, that's a big brain. I'm thinking personally, we don't give a shit. Yeah. We don't want to get uh, linked to um, dirty money like. Fine. Intelligence will eventually find out where our money is coming from. If they find out we're blackmailing a CIS agent, they'll get pretty mad. Yeah. Why? That helps because everyone. Because we're basically ex extorting uh, pre-claimed Imperial assets. Yes, they are. The money that they have is actually Imperial money they've stolen. Technically, because the Galactic Republic took control of the banking clans. This is an illegal yes. operation where someone stole money without getting permission from the Republic. Meaning, this is all stolen money. Fine. So, Dak. Yeah? This is the plans, um, after we get this place taken over. That's facility improvements, that is the terraforming effort. And just to make this planet a bit more of a habitable military zone. Right now, this is a rock where nothing happened. And it's deadly quiet. And soldiers don't like the quiet. It gives unease. Yeah. Well, it's good for testing, but... Yeah. According to this data chart, this environment should be good for testing, too. Yeah, if you see right there on the data chart, uh, right here... Um, I'm putting a mech testing area right here. More than just an empty gravel pit. Right. And, uh, these trees should be good for military exercises because they create more obstacles to maneuver around. And the other thing they also do is grant the ability most ships can't land because there's too many trees in the way. Meaning assault landers have trouble landing anywhere except our base. Yep. Pretty much, uh, the only landing spot is a... what appears to be a slight clearing, which will be at our original landing spot, most likely. But it's smaller, so... it only fits smaller ships in it. And we're gonna try to make this have a much more... this atmosphere is breathable, but not that healthy for you. That's why we still supply oxygen here. Well, yeah, the trees should help fix that. Well, we're also going to do some weather modifications, so it's going to allow for, uh, weather cycles. Oh, nice. Make it so we don't have to maintain the trees and everything with our own money. Oh, I see Water the little supply. clearing issues already solved here, because you got a little outpost, uh, assigned here at this location. Yeah, that outpost will just be in, uh, probably where like, you guys hang out. I mean, it's separated from the base, and this base is supposed to be autonomous from, uh, most of your control. So we get a little shack in the woods and get to hang out there. Huh, yeah, that works too. Alright guys, so, pay attention. A1. I said pay attention. Huh, huh, what, what? Pay attention, number one. The Prudence is still the only operational fleet ship at the moment. Sure, we have a few Arquitans and other things, but it's the only ship that would be good to move out. The Prudence is on its way right now to this sector. We are going to rendezvous with it, and we're moving to Camino right now. Alright. Okay. Epic. Charting shows there is around five structures. Some have barracks, some are training, there's a cafeteria room. Also, Chuck, check... 
check it out. We are able. We're gonna be able to employ these things. Nice. Oh. We've salvaged some of these from the conflict on Boreas. And we also got those, uh, I don't even know what the hell you call them. The squid droids. Oh, that, oh that's the board nice boarding ships. ships. Nasty. The Trident class, I think that's what they're called. Maybe. So are we anyway. fighting clones? According to reconnaissance, we're fighting a next generation clones based on a, a FET DNA. The, hmm, the DNA is probably degrading. It's phase two armor, by the way. Uh, fair warning, we have seen ARC Trooper armor. Andy has already reconned a little bit out there and found some things. They have a strict training regiment, and these people are being exported to join outward militaries. Okay. Including the Rebellion. They are not selling to the Empire at all. Yeah. This base is a newly constructed Kaminoan facility, or a, no a one that was not found before. It's smaller than most Kaminoan cities. So, mostly. I think we're going to be fighting a lot of clones. They have a, they have a Clone Wars armory. However, they've upkeeped it, and it seems to be moderating it. Meaning they actually have modern equipment. Standard. Meaning their weapons are up to par with some of those powerful weapons in the Empire. They have some sort of... They must have some sort of outside source supplying them with this information. As there's no feasible way I could see any army getting Imperial Grade Energy Schematics. Well, it could be that they're up to their old tricks, trading with their uh, business partners for information. True. They have a small navy. The navy is completely grounded, though. So one thing I will say, there are no ships in space. Meaning, Can I steal we them? have... Why the hell would you want Z-95s? Oh, that's what... Well, you said Navy. That's an Air Force. They're very two different things. Do you really want to take over probably what we think is a consular class? Technically, Air Forces are only yeah. for planetary stuff. We so need ships. the ships. Like, consular we Consular classes lost... are pathetic, A1. Keep in mind, they can be shredded by a single turbo laser. Well, then we can are... sell them. Who the fuck would buy a count consular at Mercenary. reasonable price? Uh, uh, so we're not, not selling to the Rebellion. We could. I mean, who the fuck cares? It's a consular. True. We could also sabotage it. Yeah, we could definitely put some encoding and stuff on it to f track their location. Well, either way, if it's just consulars we're dealing with, we shouldn't have too much trouble with the Prudence. Prudence has been upgraded. It now has bottom cannons, including a heavy ion. Like the Arquitans had, had the heavy ion siege blaster, it has been implemented on the Prudence. And I assume the Prudence, this... being a bigger ship, actually has the power to maintain it fully, without risk of shutting down, right? Correct. It is it uses specialized Tabana, though, so we can't just be firing it the entire time. Yeah. Well, risking losing ammo is better than risking the whole ship shutting down, in my book. So, the Prudence, with its heavy ion, will be able to disable the console and write approximately two volleys. It's not strong enough to fully disable ships entirely. We're still looking to improve it. It's following some old rudimentary design. It's kind of, it's like a lesser version of a Star Destroyer's ion cannons. Okay. So that heavy cannon will be able to disable ship. Do we want to just blow up the console or there's probably going to be little chance we get to board it? Hmm. I 
personally don't see much worth in it. We probably wouldn't even be able to sell it for much. The consular, the only thing I'm concerned about the consular is, well, primarily the issue... We want to destroy it so no one can escape pod down to the planet to assist. Yeah, that would be a good thing too. So we'd be better off just blowing it up. We can do a rapid jump on top of them from orbit and just bomb down at them and they'll be gone in seconds. Oh yeah, even a well-equipped uh, fire... Even a well-equipped bomber squad could take down a consular in seconds. But now here comes the ground assault. I don't know the layout of facilities. We know they have a hangar bay. We know they have several facilities. We have no clue what's inside, nor which building is which. In around two minutes or so, I want you to, um, what ship are you taking? You taking your own, or are we going to take our own, uh, Vanguard Tech? Bomber. 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 Well, I mean, first your off, your bomber is He's fucked. under repairs. Did you not remember that? You got it shot down, remember? Second it, off. It'll, it'll still work. I just have a smoke uh, screen uh, now. True. I no. put some some Tex chairs at and the thing and the proton launchers are all disabled. You only have lasers. If we're going yeah. to the Prudence, we should all take no, on the ship. That's how I took. I did not require rockets the last time to take yeah, down the tie. Yeah, we could just tie. deploy a transport from the Prudence. Or like I, I was saying, I put some chairs and a life support system in my hull so now I can fit like six other people. Oh, we already did that. Yeah. I do believe I have another bomber, unless it was so, scrapped. The other bomber is at Boreas right now! That would take <laughs> you hours! Yeah. A1, I've, I've already up outfitted your defender with more weapons, with a hammerhead. Uh, it has more seating, has a life support system, and a slightly stronger shield. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. So, we can take people up, because I have eight seats, or like six, six right. eight seats. Well, you're not like going to be taking your own vehicles down, because one, you have a high risk of getting struck by lightning, two, harsh conditions, and three, their air force is probably going to shoot you down. Yeah, Your no, hammerhead's I'm... large, and they have V-wings, Z-95s, and arms. Yeah, we're arms. just taking it to the Prudence. No, yeah. that, that's fine. Yeah, we'll likely be taking our uh, fast transports down or drop pods. All right, people, go fucking get your shit. I'm gonna be yeah, coordinating Bobby. from here. We're so close, I'm gonna be able to communicate. Magna time. All right. How about no? They must have moved it when Mac tested. All right, make sure I don't crush all y'all motherfuckers. I climbed it. Y'all in? Damn, it's roomy in here. Yep. Sick. <laughs>